Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes folks, it has been a while since we actually played this game. I took a small break and we're still kind of in limbo right now because I'm actually moving at the current moment and I'm in a temporary VR setup, but hopefully by the next episode we'll have a permanent setup and I can pump out quite a few more Tiny Town episodes to you guys. Now what we're going to be doing here today, we have some really, really cool custom items. Now if you recall the last town, which unfortunately we lost it, uh, rip last town. Uh, what we're going to be doing here today, we actually are going to be creating a new Granny HQ. Now, we did that with the default uh, parts in the game on the last city, but check this out. My boy Flawless Doggo has created some new items here, and we can create the true Granny HQ experience here. So the grannies have gotten really powerful. As you know from the last episode of Tiny Town, which by the way, I'll flash the playlist in the top right corner, uh, the grannies were coming back to save the city. Uh, they've been dropping out of these uh, little transport crafts. Uh, they're going after the robots, which think they can get in here and take over Tiny Town, and that's not going to happen, folks. So, as far as where the Granny HQ is going to be, we're actually going to put it behind the Capitol building here. That way they can go immediately out and protect this building and protect the surrounding city, which I really haven't created yet because, like I said, we're on a new city here. So, anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for Tiny Town, comment below. And if you're enjoying this series on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's start to build. All right, so I'm building the base for the HQ here, so it's going to be concrete. Now, Flawless Doggo has uh, created quite a few parts here for this. Like, it is really, really well thought out. And I'm thinking the grannies, they're back, and they are way stronger than ever because they have one key item, which I'll go over that item here really shortly. Uh, but first, we need to go ahead and start the structure of the base uh, for the powerful new grandmas. So, let me see here. We've got our custom parts. Check this out. I mean, we have everything from walls, uh, gates. This is going to be the, uh, the HQ slash main room. So, that's going to be your central area for the grandmas. Uh, I think of this being probably where the power is, the generator. Actually, how's that supposed to go? Is that the front or is this the front? I think this is the front and it's a hallway that leads out this way. All right, so we'll place that down here. This is gonna be an odd looking structure. <laughs> so yeah, I've got, uh, let's see, that's the rear wall. I have factory walls here. So these need to get placed down. Kinda wish there was a single wall instead of the dual wall here. Uh, we've got that, we've got the, uh, this is gonna be the entrance. So we need to put this down. Man, this looks way futuristic. I like the way this looks a lot. So we can stick this down here, which I might, actually that works perfect with the road. Wow, it doesn't get any better than that. Look at that. That actually looks really, really good. Hold on, let's go ahead and move this back slightly. You gotta have a crosswalk here because, you know, still have to have safety. So, we'll have that. I'm not really sure about these walls. I mean, I could expand these, but I kind of wish they were like single walls, like I was saying. Because it makes them really a little bit awkward. I'll see what we're going to do about that. But there is an important piece here that we need to go over. And that's going to be this. This is the factory's teleporters. These are probably some of the reason why you're seeing a lot of the portals and the portal tech here in the cities. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and place these maybe off, off to the side here. And I'm debating. I might actually do the normal wall around this. Because like I said, the uh, uh, not to say anything bad about the, uh, the gates here or the walls. Uh, the walls just don't feel like they're going to 100% fit here. So we've got that, and then we have our power generators. So that kind of also answers the question about the main area. So the HQ's just got to be the main area as far as like the, the meeting, where the generals are and all that. Uh, the teleporters are over here, and then the generators for the power of the base are on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and build up around this. Now I want to use these like pre or custom parts by Flawless Doggo, but then I want to go in and add some of my own parts, add some parts to the game, uh, some military tech in there and all the other good stuff that we would normally add uh, to these types of things. All right, so as you can see, I've added the walls around the base. I really like these uh, these little teleporters here. So I feel like we could stick the portal piece inside of these, and then maybe this is where they're bringing over uh, troops. 
No telling what else they're bringing over. Maybe they're actually saving people from my last computer that exploded uh, from the last city save. And they could be actually lining them up in here and, I guess, introducing them to the new city. I mean, could you imagine coming out of the old city with all the disasters, walking out, and then looking and seeing this? And you're like, really? Is this any better? <laughs> so maybe that's what they're doing here. I actually think I'm going to add one of those. That would look pretty cool. All right. So we need to place some grannies up here on the walls. So I went ahead and also uh, completed this scene here. So you can see the people coming uh, from the old city. Actually, that little thing's poking out. There we go. So you can see they're coming through the portal. Uh, some of them have luggage. And yeah, they're coming up. And they don't look too happy, honestly. But... The grannies are going to help save them and maybe provide a little bit better life. So they're going to load them up on the trucks here, uh, take them out, and we'll probably have like a new, maybe neighborhood. Maybe we'll have a, kind of like how we had the zombie apocalypse area in the last uh, city. Maybe we'll have a gated community where nothing's going wrong. And there's actual houses and they're placing uh, the new people over there and protecting them. So maybe that's a thing. I don't know, this whole thing just seems really, really kind of screwed up. So, there's another thing I haven't added to this that Flawless Doggo made. Now, if you recall, we had the old Granny Factory sign. This was on the old factory in the town. Uh, we're getting rid of that because we have a new one here. And this new one, let me see where it's at. It's right here. So, is there anything really different? It says, new Granny Factory sign. Hold on, there's something there. Hold on, it actually says something at the bottom. What does that say? Ah, new and improved! Well, I can guarantee you, yes, this is an improved one. Now, we have one more big building for the grannies, and I'm gonna put it on here in just a second. Let's see if we can get that to set. That looks perfect, actually. Like, look at that. A granny factory, new and improved. There's also a gate I can stick on there, too. Now, there's one more building, and I think I'm gonna connect it to the back of this base here. It's called the Granny Cathedral. And this one has me uh, questioning. What is this for? This actually looks like something out of Minecraft. Um, hmm. I don't know about this one. I like it, but I don't know if it should be in the base or if it should be in the city. Because maybe the grandmas are kind of like looked upon like, hey, they're the saviors of the world here, and they dedicated a little cathedral to them. Or we could just stick it here in the back. Hold on, it kind of looks like it would be pretty good back here. So if I were to stick this back here and expand the fence around it, we might be able to do this. Okay, let me uh, let me go ahead and do that real quick because I think it would look pretty cool back here. All right, so here is the Granny Cathedral here in the back. So I was talking about a certain item earlier that the grandma's got a hold of that might give them pretty much infinite power here. So let's grab a grandma. And we got to do something different here. I want to make this grandma a little bit different. Now, we've talked about the grandma's leaders, which one was a cat. But the cat can't hold this weapon. So I'm thinking we're going to grab this grandma here. That way she's got a different shirt on. And let's grab the cat. And they house a weapon back here so powerful that even the grandmas probably shouldn't even have it. Yes, folks. Look at that. The grandmas have the Infinity Gauntlet. Don't ask me where they got this. They probably actually ripped it off Thanos' hand. But that is uh, one of the powerful weapons they have here. No telling what else we could add to the grandmas. I think that looks pretty cool. So you have that standing in the middle. Uh, you got the cat beside it. So yeah, that is a, that's a bit of a thing. It's scary the whole fact that the grandmas can snap their fingers and uh, potentially get rid of like half the population here. But they must probably keep that thing safe because I'm pretty sure the robots would love to have that. And they love to snap it a couple times here and get rid of everything. So we got to protect this base a little bit more. Now, I really wish I had some AA emplacements. Like if I had anti-air, I would stick them in both of those towers. I don't really have any such items. Wink, wink, flawless doggo. If you, uh, if you can, please. I don't want to sound demandy. <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely something we can have there. Now, there are several other new items. We need to go ahead and add some of these drop ships. Uh, back here too for the grandmas. Uh, we've got new cars. There's a lot of stuff that we can play with here in the future. Uh, we even have like a new zombie virus. Uh, it's like a little container here. So that could be something that busts open. We got new police cars, uh, controllers, new guns. There's actually a portal gun I downloaded too. There's a lot of possibilities here. I'm kind of feeling pretty refreshed here on Tiny Town. So hopefully you guys uh, want to see some more of this. 
I think we're actually going to place these out in the front. So maybe they're dropping grandmas from the portals in the back and they're dropping the new ones in and these will be down here in the front. All right, so let me go ahead and start to build more land around here. So I think the area around the Capitol building is going to be grass. And then I do think we're going to have the big city kind of surrounding so we can do more disasters there. And uh, I guess we can call it more granny things over there too. But I do like the idea of having the base right here in the middle of the city. I don't know why I can't grab this little block. There it goes. All right, so let's stick this on this side. So we do have another street running over here, and we got to figure out what we're going to be doing with it. I think we can go ahead and start some, uh, maybe we'll do like a neighborhood or something. You know, another thing I'd eventually like to do is another zombie apocalypse, because that's like the funnest thing in, the, in this whole series, or the whole tiny town object groups, because there's nothing like having a big group of zombies. So maybe we'll eventually get around to doing that again, too. Uh, but let's go ahead and build a little bit more. All right, so over here, I'm going to go ahead and expand the street out. We're going to go ahead and try to fill in maybe this area here. I don't even necessarily know if there's going to be a disaster happening in this area. I just really think we should start building onto the city here and making it a little bit busier. Now, I want to get your guys' opinions. Like, say if we were to do some more normal, like I talked about the one neighborhood, about it being protected. Uh, maybe we'll do a couple, like, normal-style builds. Uh, that way it's not always a disaster, even though disasters are like the biggest part of this for me because they're fun to do. I don't know what that says about myself, but regardless, I I'd like to actually maybe do some normal areas too. That way we can have some filler and not every block is total chaos here. So we're going to do a three-way intersection there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill in this area and we're going to see also what it looks like because I kind of think maybe I should expand the grass even more. Because it would look weird, say there's a skyscraper, like, why would there be a skyscraper right next to the granny base? Couldn't they, like, parachute off it or something and get inside? So we might do another layer of grass and do town on this right side here. And then maybe we'll just add some trees and stuff to this to make it look nice. Okay, so you can see I'm over here actually building probably a little bit more normal section of downtown. I actually did use the, uh, the World Trade Center 1. This is an extremely big model here compared to everything else. So I think it looks really nice. We'll probably decorate the grounds on it. Maybe add like a little fountain area here in the front. Uh, probably stick some flags up. Maybe uh, gate a part of it off. Maybe have a little park or something. So I'm adding that. I'm adding some other skyscrapers here uh, to the side. And then we're going to add some cars and stuff going up at the road here. That way to just give this a little bit more of a lived in feel. Plus it'll kind of make what I'm picturing. And I'm going to show you guys from the top here. I'm picturing like a U-shaped uh, downtown area that kind of wraps around the granny base and the capitol building and then it kind of lowers down to like a medium style uh, commercial and residential and then into neighborhoods and stuff like that that way we have a really focused uh, downtown area and everything's kind of in one area uh, because the other one was pretty cool I did like how it was in like an L shaped if you recall the last series and I had the uh, the bay kind of right there which I wouldn't be opposed to doing that but we need to figure out where the ocean's gonna go and all that other good stuff and that's honestly for a different time right now right now I just want to try to fill in some of these areas here uh, to make it look like there's some population now there is one more thing that I have here and it's another custom part by flawless doggo and I think it's meant for like backgrounds kind of like how we had the mountains in the last series uh, hold on let me find it here it's this thing here it's called a skyline so I think it's really supposed to be used, say like, okay, maybe we'll stick it about right here. And I don't think I'm going to keep it in, but it might be something that's kind of cool to use eventually. So say like I'm taking a screenshot or something, you would see like a skyline in the background, which I really do think it's a pretty cool little piece. Don't necessarily know if I'm going to use it. Maybe if we were finalizing the town or something and we didn't have anything else to build, we could use that in the background, but I thought you guys would like to see that real quick. All right, so we're placing cars all through here. Oh boy, I feel like we've actually done quite a bit here today. Uh, we've uh, really gone into detail, especially with the grannies. I didn't think we'd get that far, but those uh, those pieces really made it pretty easy to build a decent base here. But yeah, uh, let's see. Hold on, let's get a zoomed out version of what we've done here. We've got the base. You got the front of that. We've got the part of downtown that we've started here. Uh, let me see. I guess we're going to hold off on this because I don't want to continue that anymore yet. I need to still get the grandmas on the wall. That was something I forgot here. You know, what if the grandmas were to fight fire with fire? Look at this. This looks like the uh, the robot from, I think it was Robocop. Uh, Chu, I believe. It looks like the police robot. I don't wonder if the grandmas maybe are using these mechs 
in order to fight back. That would be actually really cool because it seems like the grandma's tech has really gone to the future as far as a lot of the items they're using these days. So I think I'm going to stick one of those out in the front. We might actually uh, put a couple of those into combat, uh, but I'm still debating on what I want to stick here on the top. I think for now, we're just going to stick some grandmas up here with guns, and then eventually maybe we can get some sort of supports up here. There we go. We got grandmas in the towers now. That looks uh, pretty good. But I think that's where we're going to stop here today. I'm going to go ahead and go off the feedback since it's been so long since we've done an episode. I'll go off the feedback of you guys and we'll see what we're going to do for the next one. But like I said, there might be a couple of days in between this until I get that permanent VR set up in my new house. Uh, which maybe I'll show you guys that in a video. Uh, let me know if you want to see that. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Tiny Town series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time on Tiny Town.